Right then, it looks like we are live. Just scroll down to the chat there. So, hi guys, and welcome to a live sales update. So, um, hopefully everything's all right uh, on the stream. I have double checked this time to uh, make sure it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we shall get in with, on, on with it even. So, um, I'll go into my computer screen here, and I will go over to the first sale. I will keep sort of checking back um, over to the uh, chat. I'll just double check. Yeah, we're not getting anyone in there yet. So I will keep checking back over to the chat just in case uh, anyone does pop in because I don't want to miss, you know, miss anyone. Um, so yeah, I've only got 10 sales, so it's not going to be a quick, you know, it's not going to be a really lengthy live stream or anything. Um, so I'm probably not going to catch many people in the chat. Um, but I did want to come on live to do this because um, I did say a few weeks back that I would do um, a few more live videos. So uh, yeah, first sale was this vintage retro uh, brass. Um, this was like an electric kettle. I don't know. There we go. So you can see those little plongs there. Um, and it was by this company called Premier. Premier System. Quite a nice little item. I got this in an auction job lot. Probably cost me about three quid if I worked it out in the job lot. Um, and yeah, it sold for... It did take a while. This is a reduced price. Um, but I got 18 quid plus uh, 5.99 Hermes shipping. I think this did sell, well, it will have sold actually after the Hermes price went up. I haven't gone back into my old items and actually um, upped the price of the postage. But what I have started doing is just from now on, obviously, um, increasing my postage price because of Hermes and Royal Mail, obviously, this time of year or just shy of this time of year. Uh, they put the prices up, so um, yeah, make sure that you are charging the right postage, um, and as I say, that's why uh, that postage was a little bit low there. Uh, oh, we've got um, Dr. Doodledoo, wow, ads is a big floating head in space, <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I decided to put on the old, um, a, new, a new background, it's pretty cool, I like this background actually, uh, and there's no random walking man to kind of distract you either, so... Um, I like this background, it's really, really cool. I might do um, a whole video with this background on. Um, but we'll go back to the computer now. Uh, ben Smith says, hi, hi there. Uh, welcome to the stream. So next is an item that's pretty cool. These um, were in my, basically these were in my lockup for best part of three months. And I didn't think anything of them. They were in a big job lot. Um, and I watched them on auction. And because uh, I had done some research. And uh, I whacked them on auction, and yeah, they got 72 quid. Now, yeah, I probably could have got more just selling these on Buy It Now singularly. Probably could have got about 20 or 30 quid each one. But to be honest, I didn't want to wait. I, I was in the kind of auction mood of just getting stuff out on auction. And uh, these actually cost me... Well, basically, they were in a job lot, a load of magazines, vintage magazines, Disney magazines, all that sort of stuff. And uh, they were in a job lot for £15 plus commission. So if you work these out, like, in that job lot, it's it's just pennies, really. Um, so, yeah, to get 72 quid from on bid, I was more than happy with that. Um, and, yeah, I mean, as I say, I probably could have got double or there or thereabouts. Maybe even a little bit more on buy it now. But I was just in one of them auction moods. I wanted to get them out. I wanted to get some quick money back through the door. And I think that some people kind of tend to want to hold on for the highest price and yeah okay it's sometimes good to do that but at the same time I kind of sometimes feel like oh just get some money out of them onto the next lot you know that's kind of my thought process now just get whatever I can out of it and then onto the next thing onto the next thing I suppose maybe my business model has shifted a little bit more towards kind of just buying in, buying more in bulk and just shifting it on more that way um, rather than buying quality, you know, like singular items and getting the max I can for them. But I do try and still mix it up and, um, you know, get one-off quality items and put them high, off, high on buy it now whilst also doing the kind of bulk buying and shifting things for whatever I can get from. So, yeah, so I was still, I was very, very happy with that sale in the end. Uh, we've got Richard Payne in, hi there. Uh, Paul Foster, hi. Um, and then we've got Shell Saruni. Ads, you need to get, you need to stop live streaming and get out in the summit. Well, you, to tell you, I was going to do this later on because I thought, um, about, I, I thought what I'll do is probably do it about five, six o'clock, um, and then 
obviously I knew that people would be out anyway um, and I thought I'd just do it then but I thought to myself I want to do it I want to I, I, I want to do the live because I've not really I don't think I've I, I might have done a sales update live once uh, before but I've never really done a sales update live so I was so infused and I said to myself yesterday I'm gonna do a live stream and I thought I just couldn't I couldn't not do it but I am gonna get out in the sun I'm gonna go around and see Ryan actually because I think fingers crossed it might be his day off today I never know where I'm at with his days off but um yeah it, it might be off today and we can uh, spend some time in the garden just relaxing and stuff uh next was another copper kettle now as you can see this is an older listing um because i've not really padded the title out very well with keywords um obviously it's got like a, an acorn finion fin an acorn finial on there it's not like made out of acorn or anything but it's like a you know a brass acorn finial um so i would have put that in the title um, but obviously at the time I was less knowledgeable at this stuff um, But yeah, I did put swan neck in there because I knew that that was a swan neck uh, There on the kettle and it comes with this little blast trivet stand I was kind of hoping for a little bit more for this I put it on for higher than that might have put it on for 30 or maybe just shy of 30 And then I came down and I came down and I came down and someone had it but as you can see I mean it, it, to be honest I was probably shooting high anyway because looking at that now there it's not in the best of condition to be honest I mean yeah people do like patina on this stuff but it's kind of quite black and not great on the on the neck there um, but yeah still quite a nice item and as obviously I got some good money out of it it will have come in a brass or copper job lot that I probably will have paid 20 quid 15 quid 20 quid for the entire lot so yeah quite happy with that sale really uh, next is this uh, vintage African I I've showed these in sales updates before. I'm in profit on these now. Uh, it's just whatever I can get back for them. I've got so many of them. I think I've still got a couple to list. Uh, I might do, I might not. I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, it's just a little um, sort of souvenir piece, uh, carved African figure. 10 quid plus my post. More than happy with that. As you can see there, well, that's not the best measurement photo, but as you can see, it's about 25 centimeters high uh, going off that photo. And uh, yeah, that's what it is really. It's nothing more to be said about that. It's nothing really, really special. But uh, I sell these quite a lot now because I'm just getting through them. Next was this uh, Matchbox Lesney number 43 Hillman Minx uh, diecast car. Got a little bit of play wear. Nothing too bad though. Quite, you know, in, in reasonable condition for the age. Uh, and 12 quid 30, plus, uh, not plus postage, even free postage. So quite happy with that you know this came in a job lot again something i'm in profit on so it's you know i'm more than happy to get 12 pound 30 for a tiny little die cast and i know you can't see any point of reference for size um but this is tiny this is really really small this car um a lot of these cars uh the lesney ones here are really really small you know they're not they're not anything big I like that sort of size um so yeah really really happy to get that for uh, that one i've had a few nice uh die casts actually um that i've sold over the past sort of six months to a year and uh yeah there's some really really nice ones especially these little lesney ones are some really really uh nice looking die cast um i'll just quickly flip back onto the chat uh John Bready says hi, hi there. Um, Shelterine says I'm watching this in the garden. I I had a weird thought that someone might be. I had a weird thought when I first came live that um, someone might actually be watching this sat in the garden, sunbathing or something like that. Um, yeah. So next, this one that hung hung around for ages. I don't really deal with perfume to be honest. I've sold it a couple of times before with some success, but I don't really deal with it. And this is an Avon Perfume Destination Grand Canyon. Um, yeah, nine quid plus post. I paid a quid for it. As you can see, I've charged two pound eighty shipping there. I now charge three pound forty nine for shipping because that gives me a little bit more, um, you know, for the actual packaging and all that sort of, uh, you know, the fees, the postage fees, eBay charges. So I don't know why, but I used to charge two pound eighty. 
I should have been charging £3.50 from the offset, really, because at that price, you basically, you know, if you do charge that uh, currently, I, I would say consider upping it because you're actually losing money there because you're um, paying for the postage fee to eBay and your packaging and stuff if you're buying packaging. So, yeah, uh, you can tell it's an older listing because of that. And even the photo as well, the lighting is a little bit off on that photo. Not that's not. I don't think that's my current lighting setup. So yeah, um, quite an old listing. A quid into a ten plus postage. Still more than happy with that though. Uh, nice bread and butter sale. Uh, classic plas plastic Meccano build and play racing ca uh, car set. Twenty nine ninety nine. Got full price for this uh, plus my postage. I can't remember exactly where I got this. I think it was a charity shop. It was no more than a fiver. But I can't remember exactly where I got it. When it sold the other day, I'm just, I swear I, rem I remembered where I got it from. But it was no more than a fiver anyway. But I can't quite remember. I think it was a charity shop. I think it was like three or four quid, maybe five quid, I'd say, at max. But uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Nice sale. Obviously, I can't remember where it's from. So I, I, it was a, an older sale again. You know, it's been sat um, around for a while really so yeah 30 quid though I was more than happy with that nice sale it is brand new and sealed so I'll put that new well that probably says it all new Christmas gift it must have been before Christmas um, it looks like it probably was it does look like my current lighting setup so that would date it within maybe the, the last I don't know six months to a year something like that so it can't be mega old but it certainly has some age to it that um, next, with the uh, binoculars that I mentioned in my haul video the other day, they sold within two days, really, really happy, 60 quid plus postage, as I mentioned in the haul video, which you can go back on my channel and see, it's my most recent haul video, um, I paid £15 plus commission for the entire box, and uh, yeah, got 60 quid plus my post for these, really, really happy with that, um, I just priced them accordingly to what I thought um, you know, what I thought would would make them sell quick, you know, I didn't want to wait around forever, um, and that's what I did, and they sold pretty quick, as you can see, Tokyo there, and uh, 8 times 30 now I did mention, I actually put 9 times 30 in the title, I've not heard anything back from the guy, I've, I've messaged him, um, I've not heard anything back, so this sale is still kind of like that, I mean, I'm hoping that it goes all right, it should go all right, but I have messaged him to, to mention the fact that I've, I've actually mis, uh, like sort of misinformed him on the title uh, with it being 9 times 30 there, but the actual binoculars, as you can see in the photo, are 8 times 30. So I'm hoping on this one, fingers crossed it should be all all right. I've not had a message back, I messaged him like a day or two ago, so I think I'm taking that as okay for now, you know, no news is good news, but... I really don't know, he might end up giving me a return on these, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's alright, and my mistake is not going to cost me a sale, but it just shows, you know, make sure you're putting your titles right, you know, I know that sometimes when you're listing, these things happen, and it's just human error, but try as best you can to get your titling right, because... I try, but sometimes I just make mistakes like this. But do try as best as you can because it can come back on you in a negative way. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be all right. Anyway, I'll just quickly look back in the chat. Um, Ads, there are health, healthier looking corpses. You is well pasty. Go and catch some stuff. I'm going in a minute. Do it yourself. No, I nearly said do it yourself. Lifestyle then. Doctor Doodle do. I'm going in a sec. I've only got a couple more to do. Um... I am while it lasts. Are you in the Are you in the sun now, then, Peter? Are you outside or something? Um, I'm inside watching my garden. Does that count? Oh, you're such a hypocrite! You just said you literally just said to me, "Go out and get some sun," and then you're not even in the sun. What's that all about, anyway? Um, I'm watching this, but haven't got a, I haven't got a garden. Oh, right, I'm, uh, Andy uh, Robinson, that is. So, well, you could just go down the park. So you've got, like, a local... Well, actually, I don't know. How old are you? Because it would look a bit weird, like, if you were maybe, I don't know, 30 or something, and you're just walking down to a park, and you just sat there, and then there's a lot of kids there. It'd look a bit mysterious, a bit weird, but uh, you could just... You could at least just go uh, go for a walk somewhere or something if you haven't got a garden, get out in the sun. Um, anyway, right, I'll quickly do the last two. I think there's another two or three to do. Two to do. 
Um, here we go. Right, it's loaded now. Um, vintage Sovac Pixie watering can. Really liked this. This is a really nice looking little piece. But it, unfortunately, it's not worth that much. I accepted an offer of 11 .99. I was happy to knock a quid off or a quid 50 off from them. Um, and they, were, they sent me a nice message saying uh, we received it, very pleased with it, all that sort of stuff. So that's really nice to, you know, get a positive message for a change. Because sometimes a lot of messages, when you see, when you see on your messages, uh, item that ended, uh, that dreaded kind of little tag on the end of a message. Uh, when you see that, it's normally for a negative thing. So uh, quite happy, you know, that it was a positive message um, and they were happy with it. Um, nice piece, but as I say, it's just not worth as much as I thought it should be. I think this should be worth about 20 quid, but, uh, you know, when, before I was researching it, I was thinking this should be worth about 20 quid, but unfortunately it isn't, you know, it's not worth that, and it, it's a bit of a shame, but it's not worth too little, you know, at least uh, I got a tenner out of it, or 15 quid with, with the postage added on. But nice little item there, obviously it's Silvac. Um, a lot of Silvac stuff aren't, you know, isn't like the best, but you can get some really nice bigger jugs and things like that that go for sort of 20, 30 quid. So, uh, you know, some of it's definitely worth looking out for. And then finally is vintage Thomas Hughes, two times large heavy duty. Whoa, that's my cup gone. I was trying to shut the door there. Um, vintage Thomas Hughes, two times large heavy duty mixing bowls. These were really nice vintage ones. We, I don't know whether you can see how heavy duty they are, but they are, they are thick things, you know, you could really do some good mixing in these, you know, you could really uh, batter these and they they would still survive, you know, they've got a lot of life in them, a lot of, he you know, very, very heavy duty, so nice little balls these, I put off listing these forever, I just couldn't be bothered listing them for whatever reason, they just sat on the, uh, my, what, what I call my processing table, and uh, yeah, they just sat there for ages and ages and ages, but finally got around to listing them, and as you can see, sold for 14 99 plus post. Not the best money, but I got these in like household job lots, and these household job lots, I get like six boxes for 12 quid. I mean, the most I've ever had is I got like five or six boxes for nine quid, so I'm getting these for literally pennies. So anything I get out of them is just like, this would probably make me in profit on the entire, you know, six boxes or whatever. So yeah, it's really nice when uh, I can sell things like this and they just make me a really, really good margin. Um, but I'd say it did take me a while to get around to actually listing them. Anyway, that's all the sales that I'm going to show you today. So I just thought I'd uh, come on and do a quick one um, for obviously 10, um, you know, 10 minutes or so. Um... Paul Foster says, you saying you can't go to a park if you're over 50. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like it might be, you know what it's like these days when you like um, go to a park and then you can get accused of being certain things, you know, if you're not there with kids. Um, it's quite bad how how um, over politically correct, I suppose the term would be, it's gotten. Um, but yeah, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying some people would draw some bad conclusions, let's say, um, but anyway, I'll leave it at that, um, Peter says, yeah, finished, like, Thursday when it reached, uh, 12 a.m. on Friday, oh, we're just having chat to someone in the chat, uh, Peter has your birthday, fin oh, right, okay, I get it, I get it, um, right then, I will leave it, um, Andy says, yeah, best stay away from parks when you're a single male in your 40s, <laughs> um, uh, Sheltering says, I, I know, uh, that's why we're all out making the most beautiful, though, um, how was the Italian? Oh, did, uh, Peter have an Italian? Yeah, hopefully that was nice. Anyway, was that, uh, last night, Peter? I remember you saying on, uh, Z's stream or something. Um, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. I won't ramble any longer. Done all my sales now, so there's no reason for me to stick around. So, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, oh, I'll just flip back onto here, uh, quickly. There, that's it. Uh, so you can see me a bit better. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. Uh, thank you for everyone popping in the chat. I will be going out uh, in, in the sun now. I'll have a little bit of a relax and I need to do some photos. I need to get some, uh, basically, some things sorted. So, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.